How's it going, guys? Welcome to Beer and Chat. Ah, Steamworks flagship. Gotta love this beer. Oh, pretty good. Woo! Okay. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Beer and Chat. If you haven't been here before, we sit down, we drink a beer, we chat. If you have been here before, thank you for returning. Your face is awesome, and I appreciate the shit out of you. I've been super busy. In fact, this episode's actually a couple days late. Should have been up on Saturday, Monday, close enough. It is what it is. But I've been super busy building my own business, working, you know, my business is a side hustle. I also have another side hustle as a photographer, um, family life, we have a new puppy. There's, I have like a million <laughs> excuses, but it doesn't matter. The point is, this is getting up, but I'm here to talk to you about building my new business as a videographer, as a cinematographer in my local area. Now, the nice thing is about my local area, there's like no big cities around, so it's like, my city is about 80,000 people strong, and there's no other city, like no other city surrounding us. There's a couple other small cities, like 10 to 20,000 people, but it's like 100 kilometers away, and the next one's like 200 kilometers away. And the only place to go to find another city equal to or bigger than us is probably a minimum of like a seven hour drive away. Um, then you're getting into Vancouver and Calgary and Edmonton. So we've got this like barren wasteland of a city where there's really not much happening. So it's kind of uh, the perfect pocket to build a business because there's not much happening here anyways. There's a couple videographers here, but they're nothing special and there's two that would pretty much be my competition. And I mean, they're good, don't get me wrong. It's just that when I say there's nothing special, it's not like there's any crazy ones out there that like everyone has to go to. There's such amazing work. There's two that would be my competition. They do really good work, but I think I can easily be at par with them if not past them soon enough. So I'm pumped for that and I'm gonna be working hard on it. Now, the other day I went to this um, little course, if you will call it, a free course put on by the government of Canada called the Futurepreneurs of Canada. Um, the idea was bringing in um, potential business people, potential entrepreneurs who want to start up a business. Now I went into it thinking this is probably going to be like super old school stuff and it's not really going to be worth mo much of my time, but I went in thinking as a videographer. Other entrepreneurs are great people to connect with because they are gonna wanna market their business. And what I do for my one side business is photography and my second one now is gonna be videography. So they're my per perfect clients to connect with. So I went there, the class was kind of bananas. It was not useful for me at all. It was basically just a big giant sales pitch to go through their business loan. Just open up your business. And it's not what I'm after. But the nice part was, well, the catered dinner that came with it, ugh, it was good, but also the networking. There was about another 30 entrepreneurs there who were opening up businesses, and I got to network with several of them, and several of them had their eye on me, like as soon as they found out I was a videographer, photographer, they wanted my card. I didn't have a card. I have cards now, I went out and got them printed, because um, there's another course on Wednesday, so I'm gonna have the cards to give to them then but they already wanted to contact through me. So I've got someone um, in a recording label, just a recording label, small recording studio downtown, um, who wants to work with me, produce music videos, and another business called Head Over Handle. Axe throwing, axe throwing. There's gonna be this location downtown where they're gonna be like, you can eat food, get some drinks, and throw axes. Um, he wants me to do some photography, some videography. So I'm pumped for that. Now, the connection there hasn't really been formed fully, we're just talking, so hopefully it follows through. Hopefully I can actually get in with these guys and do some video and photo work for them. It'd be amazing, especially the ax throwing. Whew, epic. So yeah, on Wednesday, I get to go again and I'm gonna try and reconnect with these people. Finally give them my business card and kind of do a sales pitch for them and be like, this is why you should bring me on board and not these other two videography companies because I can do some really cool stuff and I can uh, do it for way cheaper and I guess I really gotta work on my sales pitch because that wasn't really that impressive. But you get the point. I gotta sell myself to these guys and really push my company. So I'm super pumped to get out there and start pounding the pavement, you know, talk to other people in the networking. This Futurepreneurs of Canada, I knew it was gonna be a bogus event. I knew it was gonna be like super old school stuff that wouldn't be really applicable to me and my business because my business is like a side hustle starting from home. I don't need a loan to go and open up shop. I mean, one day it'd be nice to have a studio, but anyways, I knew it'd be kind of like that, 
And it certainly was, but the networking is why I went. And the networking, paying off big time. My business has only been open for like two weeks and it's not even like a, an opening yet. I just kind of made a Facebook page and did a couple events downtown. But there was already someone there who knew of my business and was like, this guy's good. I'm super happy for that. That made me smile. Words are obviously getting out that uh, there's a new videographer in town. <sighs> and there certainly is. So it definitely wasn't a waste of time. Got to make some connections. And I'm pumped for that next next round. But my business is gonna be going strong. I've already got a, an Instagram, and I've already got a Facebook page. And I think next step is website. And well, I, I gotta finish my business cards. My business cards, I just kind of did a mock-up, like get them, get us get some printed for, for Wednesday so I can give these out and then kind of do the final tweaks, make them pretty, make them awesome for when I actually have the business running. So business cards, website, and then uh, from there, I gotta make a promo of this ugly mug doing some epic events and video around town. Sell people on me. Whew. I could certainly sell people on this beer. If you haven't tried this beer, Steamworks flagship, it's a pale ale, IPA, sorry, not a pale, an India pale ale. So see if you can look for it in your store. It's brewed in Vancouver, BC. So um, if you can find it, try it if you can't. Go to Vancouver and try it. The brewery is pretty awesome. Anyways, guys, let me know down below what you're doing. What's your hustle? What's your side hustle? Is YouTube your thing? I want to know. Come talk to me. Let's chat. I'm always open to talk. And what did you think of my new intro? I hopefully had the intro done. I'm trying to work on an intro for Beer and Chat. If it was up, what did you think of it? If it's not up, ignore that I just said that. And maybe it'll be up next time. But for now, guys, I am out. So thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me for Beer and Chat. And I will see you later. Cheers.